Hi. Hi. Is everything all right? Yes, why wouldn't it be? You need to work so much. You can get along with it. So listen, I was planning on going back to the development site. When I have the time, maybe next week. And I, I kind of need to look out, so I was wondering if you're not doing anything. What, you're perving on me through camera lens isn't enough? Anyone has been tying with me. I wonder what your boyfriend would think of that. See, I only asked you because I've already been warned to stay away. I thought you were the only person who might have the guts to risk it with me. Right, and you'd be wanting this help before or after you give evidence against me in court. I'm not giving evidence against you. It's just a statement of what happened. Right, so evidence. Basic bill. You're a witness for the cops. Look, I'm, I'm sorry for about the court case and forget it. I'll find someone else. Good, because even if I'm not in jail at the end of the trial, which I probably will be, I'm going camping with Nicole. Good know you're into camping. Just for the record, I hope the court case goes really well. Sorry about the whole lookout thing. It's some breach of your bail anyway. when I told him I wasn't pregnant. He was so relieved that he started praising the Lord. It was kind of sweet. 
And I bet you wasn't the only one praising the Lord. I am so happy that that test was negative. I am way too young to be a mum, and this body is not ready for stretch marks. Why, why didn't you just tell me what was bothering you before? Because I wanted to know for sure first. I mean, you had your own little hassles. How was the rest of your shift with Belle? Seemed like it was going well when I dropped by. Yeah, it was fine. Just fine? I mean, there was no more electricity behind the coffee Shut machine. Up. It's so obvious that you two are still hot for each other. Well, I told you. My Belle's the last person that I want to be with. What? So if she didn't have a boyfriend, then it'd be your hair behind the coat. Nicole. <laughs> okay, sorry. Look, even if she wanted to, I'm just not ready to go back there again. That must make working with her a dream then. Oh, yeah. Try a nightmare. Mm. Honey. Uh, can I have... Hey, how are you going this morning? Uh, a little bit frantic. Down my one short. Oh, what is that? You're sick. Uh... No, be quick. What? Why? Is it because of me? Well, I love it. He just said he wanted to, I don't know, change the scenery or something. Well, so he's got a new job already? Uh, well, yeah, he said he, he might have one, yeah. Where? He, he said they were looking for labourers down at that development site. I hate this. I mean, I won't be long. Bell, where Yeah, I did some labouring in the construction <coughs> site a couple of summers ago, so... Uh, you've probably got more uh, experience than most of the blokes around here. The job's yours. We'll see you next week. For real? For real, mate. Awesome, thanks, mate. Sweet. Introduce yourself to some of the boys while you're here. Pop in the office and grab the paperwork on your way out. No worries. Thanks, matey. One of those girls from the protest is back here. Buchanan's little sidekick from the meeting. I don't know. Should we do something about her? What do you think you're doing here? What are you doing here? Irene told me. I, I can't believe you'd want to work here. What's a job? It's a toxic waste dump. And what was wrong with working at the diner? What, you can't even stand to in the same room as me anymore? It's not always about you, Belle. Okay, then what is it about? Oh, you're right the first time. I can't stand being near you. So is that what you're going off at me before about you can't stand to be near me? Whatever you're thinking, Belle, it's all in your head, all right? No, I think it's all in your head, and you don't even have the guts to be honest with me. I don't want anything to do with you again. So stay the hell out of my life. Is that clear enough for you? 